particularly when I want to cut a, a hole in a thin piece of metal, a uh, piece of metal like this, I, uh, I use one of these hole cutting tools. But they are defined sizes and if you want something in between that is not covered by one of those sizes, you need to do something else. So I decided to use one of these little fly cutting things here. I bought a set of them. Three came in the set. This one accepts a, a quarter inch tool. Well, I made this quarter inch piece of soft metal. It's uh, just like a key stock. And I drilled some holes in it. I used a, uh, a broken uh, center drill to put in the hole here. Put a uh, a hole in this end with a thread in it and uh, a screw that just holds it in place and it all fits in here and it fits just like this. Clamps up and I can adjust it in and out for the size of the hole that I want. So we're going to go through the steps uh, that I made in order to produce this thing. I've taken a broken center drill, uh, a small one, and uh, it was uh, looking like this after it broke. And I ground it down to look like this. Some relief on the back edge here and a, and a little bit of a cutaway here on the front. And we're going to put that in the tool and uh, try it out. I decided to put a little bit of an angle on this uh, sloping back so the, the primary contact is right at the front so we'll get a clean edge on the uh, outer portion of uh, the hole that we're trying to create. Here's our hole. Came out uh, nice and round. And looks pretty good. What I think needs doing here is this original post that was sticking out of here before we started uh, uh, grinding the angles on it. Perhaps it could have been slightly less in diameter. That would create less chatter. And quite a bit of chatter on here and made a lot of noise. So we're cutting a wider groove than we really need to. So I may try that, but I'm pleased that at least this gave me the capability to make any size hole within the range of this tool. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.